Hey everyone, my name is Kevin, and I love board games. I'm here to talk to you today about meeples, but because this video is being featured on Man vs. Meeple, before we get started, let's crank things up a notch. Nice. Let's talk about meeples. This is a meeple. The first appearance of a meeple like this was in the game Carcassonne in the year 2000. But you know what, I might not be the best person to talk to about the history of the meeple, so let's call up Allison Hansel, who is the person that coined the term. Allison, thanks for joining us. So it's my understanding that you came up with the word meeple during a game of Carcassonne. Tell me about that. I remember in the rules that the little figures were called followers and that it's not a very fun word at all. Um, it just seemed awkward. So uh, I don't think we were calling them followers. We were calling them my people or just, you know, I'm going to put my little dudes down here. And uh, yeah, at one point I was talking about moving my people somewhere or what people I had where and I just said meeple. It just came out. Uh, and it was funny. And so I said it again. That was something that I did. <laughs> I said something funny. I would just say it again and again and again. But yeah, we just started saying it. Uh, it was enjoyable, it was way better than follower. It was pleasant. So what was it like to hear the word meeple spread and what was it like for you to witness the word spreading? Well, it was really interesting. Um, the group I was with at the time, um, the person who organized the group had a, a blog online yeah. and others would uh, read, I think, you know, what we had played and how we played it and uh, you know, what we thought about strategies or the rules or variants. And so this word uh, suddenly was uh, in the public sphere and uh, other people had access to it and maybe started to use it. I think another thing that happened is that those little pieces um, actually started to be made by more and more companies. So uh, this figurine became broader than just that one game. And so I think the word just kind of went with it. And, uh, and that was uh, sort of fascinating to see. I really didn't have any idea how big the word had gotten. I had heard some other gamers use it in America. I think the, the time when I first realized that the word had gotten really big is when I had heard Germans started to use it. So that was, that was pretty cool to see when, uh, when it went full circle back to Europe and back to Germany. Cool. Well, now the meeple has pretty much become the universal symbol for tabletop gaming. How does it feel to know that you were the person to name that symbol? Well, I mean, it's way bigger than I even know of or am aware of, and that's that's probably good. I don't really think about it too much. I I still play board games, but not as much as before. I have other hobbies and other things that I do. Um, so now, so I'm not really in that scene anymore. So I don't really have a sense of how big it is or how definitive it is of the scene. Um, but it's it's cool. Uh, it's very cool to see uh, and hear the word around and to, to think, yeah, you know, I did, I did actually just make that up by accident. That was, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Well, Allison, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your thoughts with us. Now that we've established the origins of the meeple, we can talk a little bit about how it has changed over the years. The term meeple originally referred to the humanoid pieces in Carcassonne, but now the term meeple is a fluid term that can describe many different things in games. Since the year 2000, many games have now adopted the term meeple. They have now come to represent a wide variety of human characters. With a game like Tabarua, you get to put your meeples on a surfboard. Flick em up lets you flick bullets with your fingers at other gunslingers. There's practically a meeple for every living creature. You can even turn a standard meeple into a custom character. So thanks to Russ Williams on Board Game Geek, we have a general idea of what a meeple is. You see, Russ created a poll on BGG where he asked 10 questions about meeples, and it seems as though the general consensus is that a meeple can represent more than just humans. Meeples can also be used to represent animals and robots. Meeples can be multicolored and they can be made from materials other than wood. 
Just to list a couple of the many meeples that are out there now, you have Anna Meeples, Cute Dino Meeples, Epic Dino Meeples, Tiny Meeples, Big Meeples, Bigger Meeples, and Huge Meeples. There are cool acrylics and amazing creatures. What started as a basic humanoid piece of wood has become so much more. So many people love meeples because of how cute they are, but personally, I prefer my meeples to actually look like the thing they're representing. If you look at an octopus meeple, it looks like an octopus. If you look at a dragon meeple, it looks like a dragon. So when you look at a human meeple, why does it look more like a starfish? Oh well, it doesn't actually matter. Meeples are loved by all, despite their strange starfish shape. And I might as well accept it, because after all, this video is being featured on Man vs. Meeple. And, well, wait a second, Man vs. Meeple, would that look something like this? That'll work. Well, hold on. The word Meeple is the combination of the words my and people. And people is plural, so does that mean Meeple would be plural? If that's the case, maybe Man vs. Meeple would look more like this. The meeple has become an integral symbol of our gaming culture. It's now synonymously connected to tabletop games, and it can be found all over the world. Huge thank you to Meeple Source for sending all these awesome meeples. These things are so cool. And thanks to Pencil First Games for letting us borrow this prototype. The Guardian meeples in this game are the most epic meeples ever created. Go check out Meeple Source and Pencil First Games. If you enjoyed this video or learned a bit about the history of the Meeple, hit that like button, click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and share it with all your Meeple-loving friends. I'm Kevin. I'm Gabriel. And you've been watching Man vs. Meeple. See you next time. <laughs>